Good morning to all the students in Swiss and UITM. Uh, topic today is on uh, business communication. There is a visual topic is on visual communication. What is visual communication? So visual can be picture, can be table, can be chart, can be diagrams. This we call it visual. Yeah? It sends the expression of idea of the receiver and the entertaining. When you send you picture, we send you picture. So an expression or an idea of what uh, into your understanding. Yeah? So visual combination replace text message. So you normally now very popular you send message through whatsapp so you have a lot of uh, visual communication now no more by text textual message so you can replace message yeah? smile you don't need to write smile you just can put uh, people smiling something like that yeah? so this visual element enhance the communication power of textual message sometimes we just send text it's not very uh, appealing but you, when you send a visual, uh, sometimes the person who receive it are more happy to receive it rather than textual. So this is what we mean it enhance. Eh? Uh, visual are effective way to reach audience of diverse professional and cultural background. Visual also it means here that it's effective way eh, to, to overall uh, uh, people who are going to receive it. Yeah? So it's more for diverse uh, professional and everybody, every races can accept on visual communication. No issue. No, only one race or one uh, types of uh, people are uh, only uh, can understand uh, visual communication. That's what I mean. Busy readers can quickly grab. Uh, you don't have time to read. You just uh, give some picture. Uh, they can understand very fast already. They don't have time to read. Sometimes with some text, you may be not read. Uh, so that's why visual can replace uh, communication can replace this textual very important have to summarize figures or show comparison relationship or trend okay sometimes we give uh, charts rather than we, we write report there's so long report people are lazy to read the report but you give the visual through charts and all the the report is inside the chart there so easy for people to summarize what you want to uh, message you send to them so you can see these are all very effective uh, communication when you want to use it visual in replace of the textual message so what are the benefits of using visual okay number one to improve communication effectiveness we have already mentioned just now yeah just to give you the example we are just to give you a few examples just now number two to improve audience perception for present of presenter Normally, if you sometimes you give lecture, you present through a seminar. When you your your slides is all in writing, it does not really uh, give a good perception to the audience that you are presenting. But you mix it with textual with uh, visual kind of presentation that will improve the audience perception on your presentation. That's what you mean. Third, to improve speaker confidence. Uh, sometimes we went to seminar. Let's say I go to seminar. We were standing in front of thousand people. Um, day you give presentation. So if you just give textual, textual, sometimes you also got bored reading it and talking to it. But when you see visual in your slide when you present, and when people eyes are open to see the visual, so it give you more confidence to present your paper or present your lecture at the audience. So this is the benefits of visual uh, using visual. Uh, you may not understand because you have not experienced, but you learn first. Next time when you ask to give presentation, then you understand what we are teaching you now. Improves communication effectiveness. Add, add, add another sensory channel to oral communication. Yeah? So normal, uh, we just give presentation by oral maybe. So you give this visual, it will add another sensory channel through your presentation by oral just now. Visual improve efficiency, improve good consensus, less time spent discussing decision, less time in meeting, highly significant improvement in audience action. 
So sometimes when you have visual presentation, everybody can understand faster. So you don't waste time reading line by line your your textual presentation and give them to understand what it means in your textual presentation. Because the visual people can understand better what do you want to uh, explain or what you want to give the message to the audience that you in the meeting. Visual improve audience, okay, because of the so much uh, visual uh, in your slide, everything, so the audience may improve their attention to your presentation. And they can understand. Comprehension means understand. They can understand much faster uh, from, your, from your oral presentation and the visual presentation rather than you just talk oral or only textual. Okay, so it also in agreement, retention, action, so you can retain retention more from the message you want to send to them because when you talk, you also have the presentation and this will give them the action to retain, retain what the message or what that you want to lecture or what that you want to tell the audience. For example, now I'm doing lecturing. So we give you also visual presentation, right? So there are, there are slides with a visual presentation. So you ask me whether it helps you or not. You ask yourself. Or rather than we just talk and uh, give you all the textual without any visual presentation. You know better, you, you let us know. I'm sure you will feel much better or understand much better from what we lecture plus the visual presentation. Okay, the improve uh, audience perception. Uh, so it will be interesting for them to see you talk plus the slide of the visual. Give you more credible belief or belief what more than you say. Because when you just talk, sometimes they just can't imagine what you say. But when you have talk and show them the visual, uh, they, give, they can believe more on, from what you are explaining or presentation. And then with that, the audience will see that you are well more prepared rather than you just uh, if you go to a lecture if the teacher just talk 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 to you without any uh, visual presentation without any slides i think you also know that the teacher are uh, not well prepared to teach you uh, professional it look more professional uh, from you you uh, say like lecturer they teach they show the slide uh, so it look more professional. People can understand better. People uh, can grasp what you, the teacher is lecturing better, understanding better, retention of the understanding better. Uh, so it look more professional. And it also more persuasive. If we are lecturing to you to give points, but you not very clear what we're talking to you, or not very confident what the point we are talking to you, or lecturing you, or teaching you. But with the visual, it will give you more possessive or because you can understand better because you can retain retention better uh, so this also will help you uh, into into the uh, understanding of the lecture so in whatever whether we're lecturing whether you're presenting in a seminar whether you are uh, presenting in a television or everything you can see people nowadays they will do the presentation with uh, visual together not only by talking or lecturing or kind of things okay so urban advantages uh, reinforce understanding as we see already tell you just now it give you more uh, giving understand understanding more lah that's why we got reinforce your understanding rather than just uh, oral talking but you also can see the picture Attract and build credibility. Uh, so you will attract when the lecturer will giving slides and uh, visual presentation, it will attract you. Unless otherwise, some of you may just looking at your your telephone or sending messages rather than uh, paying attention to the lecturer. But when you see some presentation, some slide, some picture, some video or whatever on the board on the whiteboard, it will give you more attraction and uh, definitely will give more credibility to the teacher who are presenting it. Clarity and simplify, of course. When the teacher explain to you something and they show you in picture, it show in visual, sure will clari clarify you much better and simplify for you to understand it. Illustrate relationship between points. 
So okay, when you start presentation from one point to another and the visual from one point to another, definitely it will give you more understanding the relationship between one point to another. And then so emphasize and summarize point. Oh, for sure, at the end of the day, when the lecturer give you representation, they will summarize, give you all the visual, what is the, all about his presentation. It will help you to uh, understand and to summarize whatever the teacher want to lecture to you. That will help you to learn. Because that whole, whole process is the learning process. Teacher are teaching. Lecture are just teaching. You are the one learning. So if you can understand, you can summarize the point, you can uh, uh, retain retention on what the teacher is teaching. Well, that's uh, the, the teaching and learning process has been done. So teacher has done his job, you also has done your job as a student to learn. So if you teacher start teaching and you don't learn, then we fail. You fail, the lecturer also fail, the college also fail. When do we use visual? Okay. Well, it, it can be many ways. You want to when you want to clarify more things. So you when when uh, you give the lecture, then you show the visual. So make people uh more clar clarity and also simplify it rather than you explain a long story but you can sim sim uh, explain it simple and then you show the picture you show the visual so people can understand faster so you simplify your presentation to emphasize and yes when you see the visual we just emphasize that point the visual point rather than you lecture the whole thing sometimes you understand you don't understand what the lecture is trying to tell you also. I used to listen to the lecture, I said, what the story they are talking. Uh, so sometimes we just thinking that the teacher is telling his story because we can't see which are the point that he want to emphasize. But if he lecture and he show the picture, at least if he tells story also, at least we know that he or she or the lecture is emphasizing, emphasizing to that particular point of the lecture. Yes, then to summarize lah. Uh, so easy for you to summarize. People said you can understand uh, easier to see a picture rather than a thousand words that you tell, teach them. So the picture can give you a, a, a fast summary of summary of what actually uh, the lecture is to to pass the message to you or to teach you. Yeah? Okay, the rest uh, to reinforce, to attract, impress, unify. I think we have recovered that already. Types of visual. Okay. We have tables. Yeah, you see, I said that. If you arrangement of numerical data, horizontal or vertical. Uh, so you're talking about statistics, or you're talking about financing, report. Uh, you need to do tables. Uh, for example, here we do tables for student uh, attendance. Uh, standard, standard, you mark your attendance, you see the attendance in the, our LMS learning management system, your attendance that we mark, uh, that type of visual we call it table, lah, tabulation. Yeah? Figures, yeah. all mathematical visual in chart, graph and diagram. Sure, I'm sure this one you can understand, your mathematic or teacher, lecturer have been teaching you, all that kind of visual they are giving you, charts, graph, diagram, etc. So, we're talking about Mathematics, so the, the visual should be in figures. Illustration, uh, all visual, example, photograph, sketch, plans, map. Uh, this is the general, uh, as I said just now. If people want to give you understanding fast, they show the picture, you can understand faster. For example, it just a uh, person, the lecturer want to describe your place in uh, city of Tokyo. He will say that the city of Tokyo, they are so very densely populated, uh, so many shops, so many kind of thing. But can you visualize or not? You can't, right? But if he illustrate, ah, this is the picture or this is the video of Tokyo. Ah, then you can see how the setup of the uh, shops down there, uh, how big the shop, how tall the shop, and how many people are there. So immediately, that illustration will help you. To understand what the lecture or the lecturer want to talk about the situation in big city, for example, Tokyo or London, no kind of thing. Tables, uh, yes, uh, a systematic arrangement of data in column, as I told just now. Yeah, 
table for example here easy we to mark your attendant that is we use that kind of table if you can you want to understand help in consolidating combining info for sure because when the table if you see if you just go to your attendant we just mark that whether you uh, you present or not at the end of the table they will show your percentage attended how many percent you have attended for this month how many percent have you attended for this uh, semester uh, so these are the systematic arrangement that we have already tabulate you also can check we also can check it doesn't mean that oh sir i only uh, absent one in this uh, semester no 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 because we all have the tabulate and the percentage down there you can check there every day we can check every day so there's no need for me for you and the college to argue the attendance so it helps yeah it helps both party ideal when audience needs into uh, needs the info what would be either difficult or tedious to handle in a main deck uh, so sometimes there's a long notes that people no time to read uh, or lazy to read so when you give these tables for example table of a uh, report of the financial report for example financial report profit and loss profit and loss account of a company so if the person want to write a report on profit and loss company there's a long story they have to write but you can see where is the profit where the loss where is the deficit where is the credit all kind of thing but when they tabulate it into a table form very easy you can see okay this company profit turnover how much this company profit how much this company expenses how much because it's all tabulated in a uh, visual way uses to present group or detailed fact and a concise and readable form as i said it's not like if you can see how the account of company so easy for you to find the detail of the fact to help readers find particular fact for example like in the account of the company you want to find particular fact the profit of the company just go to the table the profit you don't need to read the whole table or if there's a report, you don't need to write, read the whole report because they are easy to find in the the, the visual table. To compare features of product and process, sometimes you want to compare. You need to compare inside the account how much is the cost, how much is the profit, how much the marketing expenses. Easily you can find in the table form uh, rather than in the reporting form. So maybe you can look into uh, accounts of company or kind of thing from there you can understand yeah you just can google how the profit loss account of uh, for example you just google profit loss account of a company uh, master pack or tnb uh, you can see the table form of account they can show you very simple so easy for you no need for me to show it here you just can put into the google uh, you see the probably profit and loss table account of certain company they will come in the table form and that's how we're talking about uh, visual uh, tables of presentation bar graph okay there's another chart you have bar graph represent a number of height or length of a rectangular bar so that the series of number will be easy and read uh, and understood sometimes we get it newspaper in uh, the economic report of malaysia uh, malaysia income this year how many billion how many export how many uh, how much is the cost we import so the, the report sometimes they put in the bar is very for you to just read rather they put it in, in writing lah, in textual so that's why visual communication helps yeah? helps you okay line graph okay it can be line graph or picture graph is the same thing it depends on individual taste sometimes people like to see bar chart sometimes people like to see line graph uh, so it's up individual preference but are uh, all showing what is that is all visual uh, presentation on the report rather than textual that is all in about uh, so you can see many you have bar chart you have line graph there may maybe other things there some have uh, any circle uh, so all kind of reporting uh, you can see yeah uh, but these are all virtual reporting without textual reporting pie chart uh, as i said the round figure i said it's talking i'm talking about pie chart lah so the round one pie chart and gun chart yeah? 
So you can see on the left here is how the pie chart. Sometimes you see report, they put this round. Uh, okay, this is our profit, this is our loss. So they call it pie chart. So gun chart, uh, identify the major step in a project and tells when they will be in perform. Uh, chart is gun chart used normally for project management. Uh, they target project management, building construction. So which, how many months will start the foundation? How many ones will start the first floor? How many ones will do the third floor? So that chart, table, we call it gun chart. Okay, so more gun chart is more used for project purposes, not reporting purposes, but project purposes, project implementation purposes. Flow chart, uh, flow chart and organization, organization is more like in company. So in my, in our company, we have a flow chart in the college. So when the first student register, what they should do? Second, what they should do? Third, what will it happen? And then who's going to take charge? So we have this flow chart of student registration, they call it. Yeah? Rather than we put in writing, when you come, this is what you to do. And next, what you to do? Sometimes difficult for you to visualize. But we give you a flow chart, uh, then you, you know. Student, that you want to come here first, what is step you need to take? Second, what next? Step? Because why? You just check on the flow chart. Easy. Uh, organization chart is for management purposes. Let's say in... Our college, who is the CEO? Who is the head academic? Who is the finance? Who is the administrative? So we do this with this chart, we call it organizer chart. Rather they put writing, this is fuller is CEO, this fuller is doing academic. This is sometimes difficult for you to visualize. So we have this chart, we call it organizer chart. So this is the importance of uh, visual uh, charts. Okay, summary, selecting uh, selecting the best future. Okay, communication challenge. Yeah? To present individual exact value. Okay, this is communication. Uh, so, effective, effective visual choice. So, the best is use the table. Show trend or relationship over time. Uh, you, you use line chart, bar chart. Uh, this is the best visual choice. Lah. Compare two or more set data. Uh, so, so, we can use line chart and bar chart. To show frequency or distribution of a part in a whole, uh, there's, I show you the pie chart or with the round round figure just now we show. To show geographic relationship for comparison, uh, this one we use uh, map, map mapping. Yeah? To illustrate process or procedure, uh, so we do flow chart like just now your registration at the college. So we use flow chart or we call it diagram lah. I do it. <coughs> to show spatial relationship realistic. So for this one, is use use normal with picture. Uh, so this is the sum of the uh, how you can select to to use visual the best visual for specific purposes. Yeah? Principle of effective visual design. Uh, so the principle that consistency because design, font, size, color are all same. Contrast. Uh, so normally you must have a Nice contrast, black, white, or very full, colorful, yeah? so that the presentation is be uh, presentable. Uh, balance, slide versus slide, title versus point. Uh, not really every slide like we present to you. This is our good example, the, our presentation. You see how the consistency, how the contrast we show our slide, the balance we from one slide to one slide, title and point, all are there. So this slide that we present is a good principle of effective visual design that you learn and you can see yourself uh, emphasis highlight important points so sometimes you put color blue yellow to highlight certain point or underline convention traditional versus modern way of education presentation so this is the modern way yeah? if, uh, visual design presentation is a modern way uh, presentation compared to the normal traditional way which is much more in textual uh, reporting uh, simplicity, yes, to capture the eye, to give the point to the glance. Immediately, sometimes you just see the slide, you can understand. But you read the, the text, if the presentation, sometimes after you read the whole presentation, also you can't really uh, comprehend what the lecturer wants to send to you. But with the visual, very fast for you to can understand. If they say, very simple, I want to show you a uh, new design of a... Uh, uh, Mercedes car. The lecturer or the presenter of to because they say he's promoting sales for Mercedes car. 
he start talking about this new magic car have that pictures, this pictures, that pictures. He said, can you really understand? You can. But if you just show the the real uh, picture of Mercedes uh, model, new model with all this that feature, this feature, so very simply, simply, simple only that you can see and understand what they're going to introduce you for this new Mercedes model. Uh, so again, simplicity is uh, too easy for you to understand, to capture your eye. For, for example, se uh, selling uh, product lah, so it can be very useful if you use uh, visual presentation. Okay, that's uh, already 25 minutes for this uh, subject. So you discuss further with your in the classes and don't forget to read the notes because in your element class we have my this uh, short lecture. Uh, we will also give you this slide. You can go to the slide how many time you like, and then we have the notes to the slide, so you can read the notes uh, to the slide, same like what I present, but the note is much more detailed. We also put inside the LMS the ebook on the subject, so read also the ebook. You want to know deeper, you want to learn more. Unless you're lazy, I cannot help you. Uh, then we also will post a short video that will take from the internet, from the YouTube, on the subject. So these five elements will be inside your LMS. So it's more than uh, material that is ready that give you to study. It's, it's only whether you want to learn or not. So we, we teach, we give you everything. Your part is to learn. So what is your learning? Not only listening to my lecturer or the lecturer uh, in the class when they present. You need to go to other things that we have provided for you for you to do your learning process. We are teaching, you are learning. These two parts must go together. Otherwise, we fail, you fail. Okay, thank you very much. That is my motivation point for all of you. Thank you.